Farah Abraham, MTV owes me an apology and so much money. Ready to hear more details about the vicious hate crimes MTV has committed against Farah Abraham? Well, ready or not, Farah has a story to tell and she won't stop until she sees justice. To recap, our girl here announced that MTV had fired her from Teen Mumog about a month ago, after she began masturbating on live streams on the Camgirl site. She was very angry about this, and that anger combined with weight this going on in that head of hers meant that her statements about the matter didn't make much sense. But the general idea is that Farah believes it was unfair of MTV to fire her for what she does on her own time when she's not filming, especially because they didn't even actually fire her. She was given an ultimatum, and we saw that in the Teen Momog super tease that came out this week. In a clip that will air later in the season, she's told that if she continues working in the adult industry, then MTV would be unable to keep her on the show. She said that this was just a tactic to create drama for the show, to manipulate her into giving good footage. Or, well, she didn't say that, because clear communication is very hard for her, but that's what she was trying to say. We think. Okay. So Farah has been ranting on and off for the past month about how manipulative and hateful and awful MTV is, right? And it seems like seeing that clip of her being fake fired this week really triggered her. In a post she made on her social media accounts, Farah wrote hate, sex shame, discriminate against a women and bully a women hash viacom. Then don't admit you're wrong. Go ahead and settle in, because the rest of this mess makes just about as much sense as that opener. Hash justice will be served, judgment day is going to hurt, she continued. When you suck at real storylines you contrive hatred, lies. Fake ultimatums are big fail to Viacom and their dip SHTS who are followers in this horrible behavior. And then it gets extra interesting because, after a bitch better have my money hashtag, she claimed that MTV owes her a half season of money. Does that mean that she hasn't been filming since the pretend firing? Or that she has been refusing to film because of all the hate crimes? It's hard to say, but she did call MTV the only company who can't take what they dish out. Let's not forget you had to use this clip for the entire show to get press and attention thank you Farah and a public apology is overdue while I'm being mistreated along the way. That part is true, they definitely are using Farah's potential firing as a way to get interest in this season. Why wouldn't they? Again maybe I've outgrown narrow-minded bad work ethics bad producing and I for damn sure don't treat my employees like this or insult others successful entrepreneurs like this, she added. Have fun making me out to be a villain when I have the cleanest record out of the entire case, crew and executives, sex, drugs, lies, manipulation. Such adult behavior. She makes a good point, because it is pretty bizarre that masturbating on the internet is the line in the sand here. On the Teen Mum franchise, we've seen hard drug use, domestic violence, animal neglect, child neglect. So many bad things. Stars of the show have gone to actual prison and then get welcomed back with open arms. 
It's just strange that, even after they fired Farrah for her sex tape and then brought her back, the live streams are supposed to a step too far. Here's hoping she gets what she deserves, whatever that may be. The money for the other half of the new season of Dean Mumog, an apology, a few English courses. Just whatever she deserves, we sure do hope she gets it.